Hello and welcome. Welcome to Harris Ministries International and I'm Sister Kathy. I think that I'm live. I'm not sure. The computer's kind of blinking here. Um, so um, I'm uh, here in Topeka, Kansas and we want to celebrate. We want to express our goodwill toward all of you in that we are coming to the end of a new year, a, a, a old year going into a new year. And uh, this is exciting because, um, you know, many times, not that it has to be like this, but many times people reset uh, at the beginning of a new year. It just gives them a focal point to say, you know what, I'm going to reset, reset my goals. I'm going to reset, you know, some things in my life. I'm going to get in order. It's, it's an opportunity to begin again. And uh, it's just so wonderful to be a Christian because in Christ, we get to begin again. You can begin again three times a day or every day. And so every time that we dawn upon a new year, it's so exciting to uh, know that we can begin again. We can start over. Listen, we can grow. We can, we can spring forth from the foundation that God has produced in our life and the things that he has built upon this year. And we can spring forth and aim at going to the next level. We can aim forth growing and developing more, maturing more, because you know what? It's an ongoing process. And so we want to use this time and this opportunity tonight to celebrate, uh, to celebrate the goodness of God, to celebrate his faithfulness, to celebrate his loving kindness, to celebrate his patience, to celebrate his power, his glory, hallelujah, to celebrate who he is. Hallelujah. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Whether we realize it or not, whether people acknowledge it or not, God is the beginning and he will be the end of all things. And so we just want to celebrate with you tonight. We want to celebrate the goodness of God in the land of the living. Glory to God. We Here we are, glory to God, seeing another day. And if Jesus decides to come back tonight, of course, we won't be here uh, in 2021, uh, but we will be existing. And I know that that's exciting because every day you and I can um, think of uh, ways that we can celebrate. So I want us to begin this new year by celebrating. Begin this new year by you and I uh, focusing on, thinking about, uh, reflecting on, listen, ways we can celebrate. The scripture declares over in Nehemiah that the joy of the Lord, hallelujah, it is our strength, glory to God. We are not going to enter into this new year, uh, uh, starting a new decade, the beginning of going forward to press beyond for another decade. We're not going to begin this new year with, you know, just all in the, oh, you know what, 2020 was horrible. Oh, no, we are Christians. We are born again. We know the truth and the truth has made us free. Glory to God. And we want to focus on those things. Hallelujah. That we can learn from, that we can glean and we can take lessons learned uh, into this new year. Listen, to honor God. I'm going to say to honor God. Hallelujah. Honoring God in our life, honoring God. Hallelujah. With our gifts, with our talents. Glory to God. Honoring God. Hallelujah. With our commitment, with with our um. Listen, with our, we, we often look at God's faithfulness, but with our faithfulness toward him, hallelujah. You know, worldly traditions dictate uh, many in, 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 in all across the world. Uh, they dictate people celebrating on whatever day is New Year's for them. But many times when I was not a Christian, when I was living in a worldly atmosphere uh, after worldly fleshly dictates, most New Year's Eve's people would try to find some type of party or they would try to find some type of gathering or get together with friends or whatever. Um, and to try to, and, and I'm using that word, you know, underscore, bolded, try to uh, 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 
create memories of how did you bring in the new year? And, you know, many times it involved alcohol or it involved drugs or it involved some type of, you know, lust appetites or whatever somebody wanted to bring in the new year, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I can remember over the years that I was not, when I wasn't saved, that that was consistent. That was traditional. That most New Year's Eve, what are you doing on New Year's Eve? I don't know. What are you guys doing? And then did a, and then so they having a party over here and people advertising, you know, they didn't have all the social media that they have today, but everybody was advertising how, you know, they're going to bring in the new year. And again, uh, uh, most of the, those circles were not Christian. And so they were talking about bringing it in. I'm going to, you know, bringing it in with a drink. If someone came over your house, they had alcohol, they had whatever food, all of these types of things where, you know, when you look at that, you know, and I, I participated. Are you with me? I participated. And, um, you know, we we looked for a good time. But oftentimes came up short. No matter how drunk someone got, no matter who they were around, there was always that emptiness. There was always that uh, lack of fulfillment. Because each and every year, most of the time, it was the same. We did the same thing. And did it really accomplish what we needed to be successful for that year? Did it really accomplish anything? Bringing in the new year, drunk or high, bringing in the new year, you know, uh, uh, with all, it was, it was, it was a, uh, a false type of joy that we tried to create. And, uh, but we could never hold on to anything that would really make that promise come to pass that this year is going to be better than the year before, or this year is going to be, uh, uh, you know, I, 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 there's so many things that I'm expecting to happen. And without God, there's always that coming up short. And so as Christians, we can celebrate and we can be excited about our relationship with God. Listen, this is real. Hallelujah. God is real. Our relationship with God is real. Hallelujah. And you and I get out of that relationship what we desire, what we want out of God, what we want out of that relationship. And so tonight, listen, we are building upon what God has already started in our life. We are building upon glory to God. This is not, unless you're just getting born again tonight, this is for many of us building upon the foundation that he has already placed in our life. And it's exciting to know that we can go forward, that we can grow. Listen, part of what I'm going to talk about tonight, and I'm not going to keep you long. I know many of you probably have so many things to do. And, uh, you know, some people have traditions where they don't want to have any dirty dishes or any laundry when the new year comes in and all of those types of, you know, traditions and, and superstitions and whatever they account for for people's life. I don't know. I don't have any. So, you know, I, I'm not saying whatever someone else has is, is wrong. I mean, you know, it's good to wash the dishes. But, um, uh, but you know, as, 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 as we come together and, and as we look forward. I'm going to talk about transparency. I'm going to talk about and teach it with the help of the Holy Spirit. We're going to pray here in a, in a minute. Hallelujah. With the help of the Holy Spirit to engage us in the principles of God that will cause us to be transparent, that will cause us to um, and, 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 and you'll, I, it, it actually the title of my message is light be, uh, because God wants us to walk in the light and in light, that's where transparency is developed. And so I'm going to talk about that tonight. So you and I, um, have, can have a good meal as we celebrate and as we go forward that, you know, we have to have that in our mind. We are going forward. Listen, God has a plan and that plan has not failed. That plan does not cease to exist, but God's plan, hallelujah, is created to be fulfilled. And so as you and I go forward, listen, it's going to take some tenacity, hallelujah. 
It's going to take some determination. Hallelujah. It's going to take some, I want to, glory to God. Hallelujah. It's going to take some of that, um, you know, I, I often look at it as that Peter, oh, you know, when Peter and the other disciples were in that boat, uh, Jesus came walking on the water, not to impress them. The reason that he walked on that water was to help somebody. And when G Peter said, if this you, Lord, bid me to come, Jesus never approached that boat and said, Peter, come out of that boat. He never approached that boat and said anything as to uh, ignite or initiate them. But when they saw him, hallelujah, that should have initiated a spark, a fire that help is here. Glory to God. Lord, if that's you, I know that you are my help. Let's see, they were in a boat where people were hopeless. They were in that boat where people thought they were going to die. So, you know, the atmosphere, the attitude was all spiraling down. People depressed. People uh, uh filled with angst and anxiety, people filled with, with confusion and unrest, afraid, bewildered. All of those things were going on in that boat. They probably started getting at each other. Listen, if you wouldn't have said, we wouldn't have been in. And all of these accusing one another, all of those things running rampant. Why? Because fear was so present. Fear was so thick. Oh, but Jesus came walking on the water. Listen, Christianity is not about impressing the world. It's not about trying to get people to say, oh, look at you and look what you can do. No, Jesus came walking on that water because he was a man of compassion, because he was extending help where they without him would have none. And we live in a world today, uh, uh, as it's always been, that are in, they're in a boat of chaos and confusion. And the winds of adversity are all around people's house, in their minds, in their head. But when you and I look to the light, when we look in the word, that perfect law of liberty, it should spring forth hope and determination, glory to God. It should cast off all fear because when Peter saw Jesus, glory to God, he saw the light and that light illuminated something that they couldn't see before. Because if you know anything about the sea, I've been on a few cruises. And if you know anything about the sea, when you're out on the sea at night, you can't see anything. It is like pitch black dark. It's almost like scary dark. And only from that ship that generally we are in that's casting forth light, that's the only way you can see anything. Or if something is at a distance and it has some type of light to magnify itself, otherwise you can see nothing. So let's look at it this way. The disciples were there in that sea with all of this wind and waves and they were fixed, but it was totally dark. But when Jesus came walking on the water, hallelujah, there light be, glory to God. There was light, hallelujah. All of a sudden at this moment, they see light coming toward them, glory to God. Jesus was an agent of light. Hallelujah. He was, uh, 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 he said, I am the light of the world. So whenever, wherever he went, listen, light showed up. And when light showed up, that means rescue was present. And when light showed up, that means healing was there. And when light showed up, that means deliverance came. Oh, glory to God. Thank God for the light, the light, glory to God. And so as we talk about the light tonight, oh, we're going to pray. I'm getting excited because I get excited about the word of God. Hallelujah. I get excited about God illuminating my heart. I get excited about, hallelujah, looking to the light, looking at the light. Glory to God. You can tell when people have turned from the light, their countenance has fallen. They, 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 they have the, the shadow of darkness upon their face, upon their, upon their uh, mind. You can see that darkness because why? Not because God has turned from them, but because they've turned from him. They've turned from the light. They're looking the other way. But no, you have to let light shine in your eyes. 
You have to let light shine in your thinking. Glory to God. I can get up from here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Today is a new day. Glory to God. And begin to, uh, when, when light comes, uh, it is our opportunity to act. Because when you're in darkness, you can't see anything. And when people are in darkness, the Bible uh, hey, uh, likens them to being in bondage. They can't move. They're almost paralyzed. They can't even get up and go. But when light comes, remember everywhere Jesus went, light came. Light came. People were healed. Light came. The blind saw. Light came. The lame walk. Light came. The dead were raised. Light came. The storms, the seas uh, that were raging now were calm because light produces that life that people are reaching for. And so as we're going into this new year, we're not going um, with a mindset of darkness because in darkness, there's fear. In darkness, there's fear. And wherever fear is, there's torment. Well, I don't know if I can do another 2020. <laughs> what, what, kind of, what kind of language is that? What do you mean you don't know if you can do another 2020? Glory to God. We should be thanking God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for counting me worthy to go through such a thing and to be able to come out on the other side and look back over my life and say, wasn't he good? Amen. Won't he do it? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Won't he do it? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Won't he do it? Glory to God. And we're able to see the goodness of God over and over and over and over again. Hallelujah. Come on, let's take this opportunity and let's just celebrate him. Hallelujah. Let's just put those hands together wherever you are and let's just celebrate. Let's just lift up holy hands. Hallelujah. If you're able to, I'm preaching right now. I'm standing up. I do it. And some of you need to take the opportunity to just jump up and down and just turn around. Glory to God. And just tell God, thank you. Just tell him, just celebrate. Just do a little jig right there in, 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 in wherever you are, unless you're driving. If you're driving, just give God a hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, but we can praise him. We can give him glory. Let's put some action to it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor and praise. Hallelujah for the good things that you have done. Glory to God. Oh, come on. You got more than that. Hallelujah. You got more than that. Glory to God. He's been good to us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He brought us out of darkness, translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Many of you today, God has healed your body. He has delivered you, glory to God, from all types of obsessions and all types of possessions. Glory to God. It is God, glory to God, that opened those doors that no man could close. It was God, glory to God, that brought provision, protection. Hallelujah. In the midst of tragedy and crisis. It was God, he said, tell the children of Israel, I am, have sent you. Glory to God. And we saw the miraculous mighty hand of God move throughout this year in a mighty way. Glory to God, bringing that needed peace, bringing that tranquility and rest, bringing that awe, H-A-H, -H, to many that saw the light of God's glory upon his people. As the light shined in Goshen, when everywhere else was dark, this is our opportunity, church, to shine. <laughs> Glory to God. This uh, light shines. I have a blog out there on our blog site, nurturingnuggets.com. It's called Light Shines Brightest in Darkness. Hallelujah. If you get in a room with everything else is light, that light is not as bright as when you are in darkness. And we are in a dark world, but didn't we see the hand of God move just like he always does? Did not we see the love of God and the compassion of the Almighty? Have not we seen as in prior years, God deliver, set free? Did not we see as prior years of us living as Christians, people were born again this year? Hallelujah. People were delivered. Hallelujah. I'm sure people were raised from the dead this year. Glory to God. Hallelujah. People prospered in the midst of a 
famine this year. Hallelujah. Glory to God. People got married this year in holy matrimony. Glory to God. People brought forth, hallelujah, uh, babies this year, pushed them out of the womb. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And they came bubbling through. Oh, people went on home to glory this year. Hallelujah. Being absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. People went on home to be with the Lord this year celebrating, glory to God, a life, a legacy, hallelujah, of well-doing, hallelujah, celebrating a life that was dedicated to God and his work, celebrating a life of love, a life of love and humility and godly fear. Ain't that how we want to do it? Glory to God. We want to live out our days in fullness. We want to live out our days in truth, glory to God. Listen, bringing glory and honor to God. Hallelujah. Let's just lift those holy hands. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, we give you praise and we give you honor, Lord God, for you alone are worthy. You alone are true. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you. We say, Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Salvation and glory and honor and power be unto our God. Hallelujah. Salvation, glory and honor and power be unto our God. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you glory. Hallelujah. We praise you, most high. Hallelujah. We thank you for this day that we have entered into. And we thank you for a year filled with your glory. We thank you for a year that was filled with your presence, with your faithfulness, Ha, oh, 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 glory to God. With your peace, filled with your love, <laughs> with forgiveness, oh, with mercies, thank you, Holy Spirit, with power, hallelujah, oh, with grace, hallelujah, oh, we thank you, Father, for grace, oh, throughout this whole year, grace, abundant grace well supplied grace we thank you we thank you father god that we saw things that we had never seen before we saw your mighty hand even as you parted the red sea for the children of israel and they were allowed to walk across on dry ground father we thank for the parting of that sea this year, that we walked across on dry ground and was the enemy meant for evil. Father, we thank you all oh, that you turned it for our good. We thank you, Father God, hallelujah, for the supply that you put on the table for us, that we didn't have to eat the world's food. We didn't have to eat the junk of the world. But Father, we thank you. You fully supplied us with all manner of good things, with hope, with strength, with power, oh, with confidence, with courage. Oh, we thank you. <laughs> oh, we thank you tonight. We thank you. Hallelujah. We thank Thank you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for your for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. We thank you, Father God, hallelujah, for the light that shines brightly in each and every one of us, that light that only has been born out of our relationship with your son, Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that we stand on your word tonight that we have a sound mind. We thank you that we stand on your word tonight, that we delight in your presence. In your presence, there's fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So Father, we thank you for all of those who have joined us tonight, Lord God. And we thank you for the presence of the Holy Spirit among us. You said where there would be any two, or three gathered together in your name, hallelujah, that there you would be in the midst of us. And we thank you that you have been present throughout this 365 days. You have been present with us, hallelujah. You have brought comfort to us. You have ignited and, and kept our 
faith ablaze through your word that you have brought before us and that you have been grafted into our hearts. We're stronger this December 31st, 2020 than we were on January 1st, 2020 because of your goodness and your grace, because of your loving kindness and your trust in us, trusting us with trouble, trusting us in the midst of temptations, tests, and trials, T trusting us, Lord God, to see what many have never seen. We thank you for your goodness in the land of the living. And Father, as we go forward from this night, we thank you that our days and our times are in your hand. Oh, we thank you, Lord God, that we are in Christ. And we thank you that we are covered. We thank you that we are strong in you and in the power of your might. And we thank you that you have given us soundness through your word, our delight and our expectation is in you. We're putting all feet forward, Lord God. We want to give you everything we got this year. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we thank you that we want to give you everything we got, every breath we breathe, every talent, every gift, Lord God. We want to praise you, Lord. We want to give you glory. We will not be like that wicked servant that was so wicked and so dark that they hid their talent and would not produce for you. Let this be a productive year. Let it be a fruitful year. <laughs> Glory to God. Let it be a year that brings on great cheer, Lord God. Let it be a fruitful year that we multiply, that we replenish, that we subdue, and that we have and walk in that dominion that is in Christ Jesus. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to continue on. Hallelujah to continue on in what you have begun. And we give you all praise, glory, and honor tonight to the word that you deposit within us. We thank you, Lord, because you have been faithful to give throughout the year, manna from heaven. And we thank you that you have supplied all of our needs according to your riches and glory. By Christ Jesus, our Lord. And we thank you for your love amongst the brethren. We thank you for the unity and the one accordness. We thank you, Lord God, that we are together. Hallelujah. In Christ. That we are family. And we give you praise. We give you honor and glory. That Jesus is the head. Jesus, we love you and we give you praise. We thank you for the blessings upon our life that you have bestowed. We thank you that you have blessed us and our children and our children's children to many generations. We thank you for your constant care over our lives to watch over us and to pray for us. Oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercies and your grace. We're so grateful. We're so grateful, Lord. We're so grateful. Hallelujah. We're so grateful. Oh, we give you praise. Hallelujah. We thank you for wisdom this year, every day, in every way, until you come or we come to meet you, Lord. Every day. We believe you for wisdom. Every day, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask for wisdom to live out our lives to the fullness. We thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor. As we say yes, right there where you are, just say that with me. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Today and every day. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, with your spirit, man. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes to your plan. Yes to your purposes, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Right there where you are. Just go ahead and yes. Glory to God. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. I'll go enter into that door. Yes, Lord. I'll turn left. Yes, Lord. I'll follow you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Here I am. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hey. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Without fear. Yes. Hallelujah. I draw near. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We trust you. Yes. We trust you, we do. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are a shepherd. Yes. Hallelujah. We follow. Yes. 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 Glory to your name, oh God. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Everything, Lord. Yes. All that I have, yes. All that I know, yes. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, we thank you for the consecration. We thank you for the dedication, Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Hey, yes, yes. Don't you feel the power in Jesus' name? Yes, hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, will you go for him? Yes, hallelujah. Will you speak of his name? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Yes, in times of persecution. Yes, in times that of temptations of loneliness and despair. Yes, to your will. Yes. Yes, yes, we're going all the way. Yes, yes, yes. I submit my body as a living sacrifice. Yes, yes, yes. Glory to God. I lay aside every weight and sins that easily beset me. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Loyal to you, Lord, to you alone. Yes. Yes, yes, hallelujah, yes, 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 thank you, Lord, oh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to you, Lord God, glory to you, Lord God, we give you glory, we give you honor and praise, yes, 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 oh, the Lord is so good. Hallelujah. Yes. Tell the Lord, yes. 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 Hallelujah. Times of surrender, times of refreshing. Hallelujah. And a pastor friend of ours uh, uh, spoke this word a couple of uh, days or uh, uh, weeks or so ago that he heard God say restoration. And, you know, I, I, I laid hold of that. Restoration. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Refreshing. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That we would be evermore filled. Hallelujah. With the presence of the Holy Spirit. Filled. To, oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. No dry days. Yes. 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 Living water flowing. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, hallelujah, looking to the hope of his glory, yes, 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 glory to God, now what I want you to do is I want you to just take your hands, hallelujah, just as a point of contact, I saw this, I saw it, just as a point of contact, and I want you to consecrate every gift, 
every talent, even those things that you don't know about that God has placed in you. And I want you to see those things right there in your hand, meaning they're in your they're in your reach to control whether I will commit to them or not. Let this be a moment of commitment. That every gift, every assignment, everything that God would entrust to me in the coming weeks, days, months, however long it be that I am still in the earth, that I commit those gifts. Come on now. I commit those talents. I commit all that he has entrusted to me as a steward. I lift it up to him and I say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Your plans, your purposes. Yes. Yes. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, what you commit to, the enemy cannot destroy or steal from you. Yes, yes. I commit it all. I lay, lay, bring it all before you, Lord. Yes, to your will. Yes, yes. Oh, just lift up those hands and give him glory. Give him honor and praise. Hallelujah. Oh, for the good things that he has done and continue to do. One more time. Yes. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes. 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 We hear your voice and the voice of a stranger. We will not follow. Yes. 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 We will honor you. Yes. Yes, yes, we will follow you. Yes, 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 we are devoted to you. Yes, yes, yes. We give you praise. We give you honor and glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Blessed be your name, Lord God. Blessed be your name. Don't let anything hold you back. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter who's around you or who might hear you. Hallelujah. Just shout unto the Lord with a voice of power. Then the neighbors might think I'm crazy. Well, they might already think you're crazy. Hallelujah. But just yes, yes, yes. Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. But God is good, isn't he? And his mercies endure forever. Amen. These are tears of joy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's all right to have tears of joy in his presence. Hallelujah. I'm not on tonight to impress anybody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just consecration to the Lord because he is good and his mercies endure forever. Hallelujah. Don't you feel his presence and his goodness? And his grace, hallelujah, as we come tonight around the holy table of God's word. <laughs> oh, glory to God, hallelujah. See, that brings joy. When we, when we consecrate ourselves, when we open our mouths and release, hallelujah. Sometimes people need to release frustrations and doubt, things that have been salty and trying to beat their mind and they need to release those things. And God gives us the opportunity. He gives us uh, in, that, in that atmosphere where he manifests himself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We ought to be able to experience God's presence. Hallelujah. Uh, glory to God. I, I, any, any moment in time that we, we want to, because he wants us to. Hallelujah. And so we're going to get into our teaching tonight. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but hallelujah. The presence of God is so wonderful. So, so wonderful. The Holy Spirit is with us. And I pray that as you start this year, that you've done some fasting, some consecration. Um, 
that you've set aside, even if it's a meal, uh, set aside some time to break away uh, from the flesh, to consecrate, to hear from God, to walk over the threshold of a new year, glory to God, with, 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 a, with, a, with a mindset of newness, that, that, that you're entering, Lord, I thank you for whatever is before me. Hallelujah, I thank you for just the refreshing and the renewing that you're with me and I will not be afraid. Glory to God. See, when people are afraid, they give up on life. When people are afraid, they won't pursue their dreams. They won't pursue God's plan and purpose for their life. When people are afraid, they make excuses and they run and they hide and they blame and they point fingers. When people are afraid, because the Bible said fear brings torment, right? Fear brings torment. But God told Joshua, he said, don't be afraid. He said, be courageous. God wanted Joshua to, to, to look in another direction. Don't be afraid, he told Jeremiah of their faces. Never yielding to fear. Because fear has torment. We see so much torment, torment in the world today but God is light and he is love and he is always willing to deliver to set free to whoever will come to him he said come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest that heavy laden it's a burden it's a burden on the minds and the hearts of people it's that yoke that the enemy places upon them to cast them down, to, to, to destroy, to beat upon repeatedly as to assault to the point of no return. All but one word from God, arrest the hand of the enemy to give people the opportunity to say, yes, the true light has come and God brings rescue. He brings, hallelujah, dominion and power. He brings love and acceptance. Glory to God as the prodigal son. Hallelujah. Who had been away from father's house, willfully left, in his own mind decided that he wanted to go. And he left, but the father kept waiting and looking for him. Why? Because love never fails. Love never gives up. Love never turns around. Love never abandons. God's love is always constant. And whatever people do or whatever they go, whatever they decide to do, to the point when they leave this world, they can never say that he didn't love them. God loves people. Aren't you glad? Hallelujah, that he does. And so tonight we want to talk about that light, walking in the light. We want to enter into this new day because that's all it is, is a new day. Now, there are things that sometimes happen according to God's timing, according to things he has set in place. And Jesus said the times and the seasons are in his hand, right? I want you to turn over with me to the book of Acts. You have your Bibles? Hallelujah. Turn over with me to the book of Acts. And as we enter into a new year, when we talk about years, we talk about timing. It's basically times and seasons. And you know, in the book of Ecclesiastes, he said, to everything there is a time and a purpose under the heavens. You and I are here in the earth today. Why? Be because we are here in the earth today because of the time, the season, and the purpose for it all. Never think of your life as useless. Never think of your life. Listen, always know that the enemy is involved. Whenever you have thoughts of my life is useless and nothing. And, and, and it, it just doesn't even amount to anything. I don't know what I do it with my life. And no, always know that there's darkness in that. 
Because if you're still in the earth today, and we all are, right? Because if we're listening to this broadcast, glory to God, we're in the earth. Hallelujah. There's no preaching needed in heaven. Hallelujah. If we're in the earth today, know that God's purpose is on our life. That God has a plan that in this season, in this moment, regardless if it's 2021, 2025, 2030, it doesn't matter. The year you were born, 1960, 1962, 58, 78, 88. It doesn't matter. It was a time. Can you say that with me? Say time. It was a time under heaven. And that time and that season, listen, was in God's hand. Oh, my mother and father decided they wanted to have intercourse that night. My times are in his hand. It was part of a master plan. Glory to God. I needed to be born when I was born to be here today to do what I'm doing today. It was all in his master plan. Glory to God. Acts chapter one, I want you to see something really quickly because we're going to determine as we walk forward in the word, in the light, that we're going to walk in the light, that we're going to walk in the light. Glory to God. Say that with me. I'm going to walk in the light. Hallelujah. Glory. I'm going to walk in the light. I reject all forms of darkness. I am walking in the light. I look forward to the light every day to shine on my path, to shine on my in my mind. Paul said that he prayed for the Christians that God would illuminate them, that he would flood their hearts with light. Go ahead. Just raise your hand. Just raise your hand up and say, Father God, flood my heart with light. Now, in the name of Jesus, and receive that light, expect that light, glory to God, hallelujah. And so if you're there over in the book of Acts chapter one, I want to show you something just really, really quickly, really, really quickly here. Uh, Jesus had already risen from the dead, say he's risen, hallelujah. Can we have an interactive meeting tonight? Say his risen glory to God. And so Jesus here is meeting with his disciples. And I'm going to read, start in verse one. It said, the former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach. All that he began. I want you to circle that word began because he's not finished. And we're not going to enter into this time, into this season, into this moment without acknowledging in the light that God began my life. It wasn't happenstance. It wasn't because somebody decided to have intercourse. And, and some people have said to you, what you weren't planned. You just, you happened. And no, 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 I didn't just happen to get here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All that Jesus, all that the Father, all that the Holy Spirit began. Glory to God. We're going to go over that scripture in just a few seconds over the book of Philippians. Well, the Bible said, he that has begun a good work in you, he will complete it. Stop looking at your life as something that is, is orchestrated by mankind. And that was, that, that was uh, uh, initiated and originated by man. Glory to God. No, our lives were initiated and originated in God. And that makes it important and special. Listen, and needful. This is walking in the light. This is seeing yourself in the light, seeing your purpose, seeing God's divine hand on your life, seeing that God's master plan for you is to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you hope and a future and expect it in. Who told you that you were a failure? Who told you that you couldn't do what God has called you to do? That's none other than the thief who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. See, he's not in the light right here. He's in darkness. He dwells in darkness. He dwells in, in, in negative thoughts. He dwells in, 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 in decay and ruin. He dwells in death, and he dwells in, 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 the, in the realm of to kill, steal, and destroy. That's darkness. Jesus said, but I've come that you might have life. And that you might have it more abundantly in that life. Listen, there's light. In the glorious life of God, the law of the spirit of life 
the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. The law, the life and the light don't go together. They're one. So look at this. He said, unto the day in which he was taken up, talking about Jesus, after that he, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandment unto the apostles whom he had chosen. Say, I'm chosen. And see, when you're chosen, you get direction. When you're chosen of God and you actually uh, 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 acknowledge that and you hold on to it, get up in the morning and say, but I'm chosen. Hallelujah. I, I know all of those negative things trying to, uh, like that little cloud on that little guy on the cartoon, um, uh, uh, Peanuts, Charlie Brown, he had that little funky cloud all around him and you could smell it. And you can smell unbelief. You can smell uh, 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 when people give up. It, it's a it's a it's a foul odor. It, it, it's an odor to depression. It's an odor to chaos and suicide. There's a foul odor. There's a there's an odor of death. There's an odor of 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 of, of darkness. Are you with me now? Uh, there, there, there's clearly a sign when you're in the light. When 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 when, when others are not. Are you with me now? And the Bible said that Jesus gave them instruction. He gave them commandment, huh? By the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. See, I got the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. He leads and guides me. Come on now. Say, he leads and guides me into all truth. He shows me things to come. The Holy Spirit keeps me in the light. Glory to God. I receive from the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Say that when they say, I receive from the Holy Spirit. I receive from the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, life and truth and light, direction, correction, instruction. Come on, lift up that hand with me. Say, I receive from the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. The Bible said, for whom also he showed himself alive after his passion. See, Jesus had passion, glory to God. He had passion, he had fervency. He had determination in that dominion. He was excited about living for his father, no matter who hated him, no matter who, who, who spoke against him ill and untruthfully and falsely, no matter who uh, uh, threw spiritual rocks at him. Oh, he had a determination. He had a joy about him. He had a happiness that they couldn't take. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No man could take his joy. No one could stamp it out with their evil report with their lies, with their hypocrisy. He kept living in the light, even though he knew his disciples would forsake him. He kept on walking in the light. He kept on rejoicing in his father, glory to God. He kept celebrating the course that God had given him to fulfill because why? His aim was to glorify his father. His aim was to glorify his father, not live selfishly, not be selfish, you know, many times people slip into uh, uh, realms of depression and suicide, and it's ignited by selfishness. Selfish. Because, see, when you're a giver and you're walking in the light, you see a purpose, man. You get up to give me, you know, who can I help today? But when people slip into, oh, don't nobody care about me and my life and, and all of that dark, that's selfishness. Most of the time, those people do nothing for no one else. They don't. They don't feed the, the anybody else. They don't help any. They don't extend mercy, a word, nothing. It's all about. It's all self-focus. It's all self, and that's what the enemy does. That's what he did to Adam and Eve. He came with a word to turn their 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 hearing, turn their eyes off of God, and turn it to self. He know that you will be like him. You, look at you, you, you. And even when it turns dysfunctional and when it, it's from one extreme to the other, either so much pride and, and so much self-exaltation that people can't even see anybody besides them. Or it's, 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 it's people taking that negative in the sense of darkness that, oh, I, that man at, at the pool, Jesus came up to him and he said, uh, do you want to be well? And he said, I don't have nobody to help me. And Jesus was like away with all of that nonsense. Do you want to be well? See, his wellness in God's sight so that he could fulfill his purpose in God. So that he could help somebody else. So that he could be a blessing 
so that he could tell about the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Let me challenge you today. When was the last time you told somebody about the goodness of God or witnessed about your salvation? Are you with me now? Glory to God. Told somebody, hallelujah, how great he was. Well, the Bible says here, being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. He's still the head of the church. Glory to God. And the Bible says, and, uh, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which saith ye, which saith he, ye have heard of me. Now, here we go. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Talking about time, talking about season, talking about purpose. When are you going to do that, Lord? When is this going to happen? When is that going to happen? Because really our life in the earth is about season. It's about time. It's about a journey, a time and a time, and this time and that time. We're entering into a, a 2021, which is another day. But a day brings what? Time. It brings 24 hours. It gives us time. And then on, uh, on January 2nd, it brings us time. It gives us, delivers to us 24 hours in a day, 24 more hours. It's about time. It's about season. Because in the earth, our life is what? It's moving. In the earth, our life is moving, constantly moving. Now, uh, uh, in, in the sense of time. Now, a person can stand still, but the day going to keep going on. Sometimes people never move beyond 16. Sometimes people are still in their kindergarten class with, with that same rejective spirit of what was said to them. Sometimes people are still living out that divorce, that, that marriage that failed. Sometimes people are still wondering why they didn't succeed in this area, why this happened. They, they, that area of their life have become stagnant. There's no light there. They closed out the light. Now notice when people are depressed, a lot of times they want all the blinds closed. They want to dwell in, in, in that funk, in that attitude. Just, just, and, and if you enter into that space, you, 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 you can, it's sick. It's heavy. It's a burden. Why? Because there's no light in there. And most of the people, even in the natural, if you come into someone's room and it's all closed out, what is the first thing they begin to do? Open up these curtains. Turn some light on in here. And most of the time they haven't seen light in a while. And their eyes are, are burning because of the light. Their eyes are, oh, well, don't be opening up all those curtains. Don't be opening up all that. No, why? Because they've been dwelling in the dark, artificial light, TV only, internet only, on their phones. Uh, just, just, that's the only little light they got. That's not true light. And when you're not in true light, all types of stuff begin to manifest. All types of things begin. So Jesus here, and, 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 and talking about times, talking about seasons. So he said that, that was for somebody. Hallelujah. Verse, verse 7, Jesus said, and he said unto them, it is not, say not. He said, it is not for you to know. See, the Bible said the secret things belong to God. And some people get upset about God because there are things that he has not revealed to them. I tell you what, just being transparent, most of the things that I, in my Christian walk, if I asked and was not made aware, it's because I wasn't being obedient in what he told me to do. Because when we, when we, when we can be obedient, I don't want to call them little things, in the everyday life, prayer, rejoicing, Forgiving, uh, seeking God. When we can be obedient into those things, then we're serious. Otherwise, we're not. Come on, let's dwell in the light. Otherwise, we're not. Well, you know, God know my heart. That's a lie. That not that He doesn't know your heart, but that those words are many times driven by a lie. They're driven by a lie of darkness to keep me making excuses. 
right? So we're walking into this time in the light. We want the light to shine. We want it to be bright. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want it to be so bright. Glory to God. That it illuminates everything. Glory to God. Say yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus said, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. And then he went on to verse 8, which this is what you need to know. You can receive power after the Holy Ghost. This is what you can know. And what you can know, live by what you can know, and to God reveal something else. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so, and so he said the times and the seasons, I want you to say that with me as a confession, say the times and the seasons are in the father's hand. Mm -hmm. Say the times of my life and the seasons of my life are in the father's hand. Come on. We need to live that out. The times, stop worrying about, are you going to get social security? Stop worrying about all of these things. The times of my life, the seasons of my life are in my father's hand. This was a truth just like every other truth that Jesus needed them to receive. He needed them to receive that, not just to hear it, but to receive it, to believe it, to receive it, to act upon it. Glory to God. And so as we're living in times and season and as the clock strikes midnight tonight, What's going to happen if, 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 if it's God's will and Jesus doesn't return before the end, then we're going to enter into another 24 hours. Hallelujah. And there's not going to be anything magical about January 1st. What happens is what happens in a person's mind. After hearing the truth and they decide at that moment, I am going to live out the rest of my days according to the will of God. I am determined to live a life filled with joy. Now, there may be sorrowful things that happen, but I'm still going to live out my life in joy. I am going to forgive. I am going to love my neighbors. I'm, I'm going to stop polluting myself with the filthy conversation of the wicked according to, 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 to Psalms 1 blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly I'm going to live like Jesus and put other people first glory to God I, I am determined not to be selfish to hoard up to, 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 to be stingy you know when I was growing up we used to call it stingy and it was, it was kind of scorned when a person was stingy. And anybody, anybody with me? When someone was stingy, that was not a positive attribute. When they were stingy, most of the time, if they had sisters and brothers or parents or whomever, teachers, that was looked at as a pawn. You need, we're not going to be stingy. What did they encourage you to do? Somebody, anybody, share. You share, share with your sisters and brothers. I don't want nobody to play with my toy. But see, some people were never corrected. And it got all in their soul, and their soul is full of fungus and funk. Have you ever smelled uh, fungus? It's stinky, isn't it? It's all mildewy. It's all, it just stinky. It just stinks. It just stinks. And, and those types of things, they stink up a life. They cloud up a way. They fog up a first. Stinky, stink. It was people, someone never was taught that, you know, stanchy is not the way. God is a giver. And that don't, doesn't mean a stupid giver or arrogant giver or someone who just doesn't use wisdom, but the heart is to give because why the heart, talking about the spirit and the soul is influenced by love. Listen, we don't want to be stingy, stingy with our gifts. When nobody asks me to do anything, that's why I'm not doing anything. Well, God asked you to do it. Glory to God. God asked you to do that. He gave you the gift. Hallelujah. He gave you the talent, the ability to help somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, what you want me to do with this? Hallelujah. I'm ready. I'm not going to be stingy. I'm not going to hide what I have under a bushel. I'm not going to be at home sleep when I could be preaching. Oh, let me cancel tonight because I'm tired. No, 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 no. 
Are you with me now? I'm going to I'm going to allow God to use me on all my appointed days in the earth to the best of my ability. I choose yes. Well, you know what? You know, yeah, yeah, but I could read my Bible tonight, but you know, I already worked eight hours and I'm pretty tired. No, I'm not going to be stingy. I'm going to give. I'm going to give my time to God. I'm going to give him something. Hallelujah. 24 hours in a day and I can't give him 10 minutes. 24 hours in a day and I can't give him an hour. Jesus said, can you not pray with me one hour? I can't think on him at some point time in a day. Oh, glory to God. We're going to walk in the light. Say that with me. I'm going to walk in the light this year. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to walk in the light. Come on, say that with me. Say, like me. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Prophesy to those dry bones. Prophesy, glory to God, to anything that would try to come against your uh, prophetic utterance in your own life. Glory to God. Like thee, I'm going to walk in the light. Hallelujah. I'm not going to let people provoke me to anger uh, to the best of my ability. And if I slip it, Lord, I'm getting right out of it. Like thee, hallelujah. Like be in my heart, like be in my mind, like be in my home, like be glory to God when I'm driving around in my car and nobody else see me, like be when 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 I'm asleep, like be all around me, <laughs> glory to God, like be all around me, like be all around me, glory to God, hallelujah, like be, like be, glory to God, in my today and in my tomorrow, 24 hours in a day, Lord God, never let my life cease to have light all around me. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You need to take that. Hallelujah. And let light be. Declare that. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Turn with me to Genesis chapter one. Genesis chapter one. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I refuse to be the Paul revealer of hell and to, to dispel things out of my mouth. Oh, you know what? Uh, I don't know. No, light be. <laughs> Hallelujah. Light be. Glory to God. Glory to God. If you want to pass something on to somebody, pass them some light. Pass them some word. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, Genesis chapter one. Are you there with me? Verse one. In the beginning, say in the beginning, it's a new day. Hallelujah. It's a new day. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the beginning, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the Alpha. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. They don't say nothing in here about the devil. They don't say nothing in here about the world, talking about this world system and all the knowledge and all the people. It don't say nothing about personalities, people's titles, other than God. And that's who we serve, like be, like be. We're walking in the light this year. Hallelujah. And it said, and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. We know that that word means he hovered. Why? He was waiting for that proclamation. He was waiting for that command. Hallelujah. Just like God waits in our life. Once we hear the truth, he waits for us to take ownership of it, but he waits for us to release it. I believe, therefore I speak. Glory to God. I believe light's in me. I believe light's all around me and I'm going to speak it in the name of Jesus. It's going to attract some people, but it's going to also repel some people. Some people don't want to be in the light, the word said. They don't want to be around the light. They get tired of you talking about the goodness of God. Get tired of you talking about the light and things of that nature. Oh, but keep talking and glory to God. You might lose some enemies. Hallelujah. But just keep on going. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, the Bible said, God said, in verse three, and God said, I want you to say that with me, say, and God said, uh -huh. and say, and I say, and God said, and I say, hallelujah. We can say what God said, hallelujah. The Bible said, he said, let there be light. And there was light. Why? Because he doubt, He didn't doubt for one minute. He said it with authority. He released authority. He released what, and he created what he said because it was already created in his heart. And he released that upon that darkness. Listen, let me tell you, everywhere you go, whether it's on your job, whether it's near or far, where, wherever it is, even in the, in the 
in the privacy of your own car, your own bathroom, or wherever you are alone. Always know that you can release light. Not at one moment let darkness take room in your space. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, let there be light, or as we say it in some translations, light be. That's what I want to see. Light be, meaning expect it to, meaning with authority, with tenacity, with dominion. Light be. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Turn with me to John chapter 1. We're walking in the light this year. Listen, and I told you about trans. We're going to be transparent. And I'm going to get to that just in a minute. I know I'm about running out of time. Hallelujah. But we need this as we go forward. Hallelujah. We need this word. Hallelujah. Because God has given us this day to receive his word. And no matter how dark things may be in the earth, and they will be dark because he said they would. We can have light in our dwelling, in our mind, in our homes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. John chapter 1. John chapter 1 here. Glory to God. The Bible says in verse 1, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning. So the word was in the beginning because we saw the word and we know that light was in the beginning. Hallelujah. Because God spoke forth that light. He said the same, we're going to hear that in a minute. He said the same was in the beginning with God. Listen, all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. Glory to God. God is in you. See, God is in me. Hallelujah. God is in you. Glory to God. We were created by God. Hallelujah. We were created by God. We have a purpose in our life. And that purpose has is in the earth today. And it has a time on it. It has seasons uh, 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 ascribed to it. Glory to God. Light be. And he said in verse 4, in him, talking about the word, was life. Listen. And the life was the light. The life was the light. Glory to God. And we see those two coming together here. We see those two, uh, 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 un we see that union with life and light. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free of the law of sin and death. Where there's death, there's darkness. Where there's light, there's light. Glory to God. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Do we see here? He said, and the verse five, and the light did what? The light has a purpose. It shines. Where did it shine? In darkness. Where did it shine? In darkness. Where did it shine? In darkness. I'm going to read that in the Amplified. And it said, and the light shines on. It shines on. It's not put out. The light shines on in the darkness. Listen, for the darkness has never overpowered it. Oh, I love it. Hallelujah. The darkness has never overpowered light. That's why you want light all in your dwelling, all in your mind. Speak to your mind. Speak to your body. Like be in the name of Jesus. Light all around me. I'm walking in the light this year. I'm walking in the light every 24 hours that God gives me glory to God light be in the name of Jesus the sun may have went down and the moon may have come up but I still got light in my dwelling it may not be no stars in the back of my house giving light but father I thank you that I don't depend on natural light I depend on the spiritual light of your glory shining forth in my life light be in the name of Jesus for the glory of God. Hallelujah. When sickness and disease approach your body, knock on your door, you say, light be in the name of Jesus for the glory of God. Because wherever that light is, there's light. Talking about the God kind of light. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wherever there's life, there's light. And the Bible said the light shined in darkness because the darkness was never able to overpower it, but, but put it out. The light put it out and absorbed it or, or or appropriated it and is unreceptive of it the 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 the, the darkness uh, uh uh darkness doesn't want the light and that's why when the light comes it has to go it has to flee are you with me it can never overpower light even in the natural even in the natural the light has to the sun has to go down in order for the night to come up 
the sun has to go down. If the sun stood still for 24 hours, there would be no darkness because the darkness has to wait to take territory for the sun to go down. And when we allow that light to, to go down in our life, when we, when we, when we, when we're not, when we when we don't have that expectation and that faith for light to be in our life, listen, darkness is waiting. It is waiting to seize faith territory. Are you with me now? It is waiting. That's why God told Cain, he said, if you do not well, he said, evil lies at the door, crouches. He said, master it, master it. Put it under your feet, master it, control it, take dominion over it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now he said, let me finish. Let me finish here. In, 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 in verse, what was I at? In verse five. And then verse six says, uh, there came a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came to witness that he might testify of what? The light. That he may testify of what? The light. That he may speak of the light. That he may tell of the goodness of the light. That he may tell the works of the light. That he may tell the power of the light. Hallelujah. John came preaching. Hallelujah. There's one coming after me whose shoe laces I am not worthy to tie. He came speaking of the light. Hallelujah. He came dwelling in that knowledge of that light. Are you with me now? And the Bible says here, he says uh, 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 in verse seven, this, this man came to witness that he might testify of the light, that all men might believe in it. In what? In the light. That all men might believe what? In the light. That all men might believe in it. Hallelujah. We know believing is having faith. And we know that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The Bible said that that that, that, that the word of God says, uh, um, how can they believe in him in whom they've not heard? How can we believe in the light if we've not heard about the light? How can we have faith in the light? How can we acknowledge the light until we, until we hear about the light? Once we hear about the light, it becomes a part of us. Like thee, like thee, like thee. I expect like thee. Glory to God in the name of of Jesus. The Bible said that all men might believe it and adhere to it, trust it, rely on it uh, uh, through him. Verse 6. He was not the light, talking about John, talking about the light, as talking about Jesus, but came that he might bear witness regarding the light. There, uh, Yes, verse 9. Uh, there it was, the true light, talking about Jesus, was then coming into the world. This is what part I want to get to. The genuine, perfect, steadfast light. Listen, that illuminates every person. So we know that light illuminates every person. The light of God has the power to illuminate. And I'm going to give you the definition of that. The word illuminate means to make something visible or bright by shining light on it to light upon it. So when the word of God comes, it's a lamp to our feet and what? A light to our path. The word of God is spoken here as light. In the beginning was the word. Talk about the word of God. And that word, God's word is light. That's why when we speak the light, darkness has to flee. When we speak the light, even in, in situations and circumstances that may seem grave, start speaking because you have to see that light going forth from out of your spirit. From the word of God, that light be. And so the word illuminate, one more time, the word illuminate means to make something visible or bright by shining light on it. And God wants the light to continue in our lives continually, every area, our spirit, soul, and body. Why? So that you and I can see clearly. So that you and I always can have not artificial light, but we can have the true light shining on circumstances, shining on thoughts. Listen, those dark thoughts that come, oh, say light be. Oh, in the name of Jesus, you get up out of a sleep and you had some type of uh, a dark dream. Oh, light be. Uh-uh, light be, light be in this. In the name of Jesus, light be. No, 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 I'm not dwelling in that darkness. I'm not listening to those dark thoughts. Oh, light be, light be in the name of Jesus. And it's a, it's a continuance. It's not doing it one time and then giving up. No, we, we don't give up. We don't turn back. We don't quit. We, we're not cowards. We, we, we are those who are filled with the life of God, filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, given the word of God, uh, 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 God living in me. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. It means to make something visible. So when you say like these, listen, listen, 
and something trying to creep in your path, in your home, in your marriage, on your job, in your thoughts, in your path, what does light do? Light illuminates it. It shows it for what it is. It, it shows it for what it is. It can no longer be disguised. It can no longer uh, be subtle or crafty. It can no longer hide up under something. It's exposed. Are you with me now? It's exposed. And so when we talk about illumination, we want to talk about real quickly transparency. You and I have to be determined, be determined this year. If we're going to walk in the light, listen, that we need to be transparent with ourselves and with others. We need to be transparent. If I miss it, I miss it and I get it right. I make the adjustment, get myself back in line. I'm going to be transparent. Glory to God. If God is working through my life, listen, this is the other end of the spectrum. I'm not going to hide my light under a bushel. I'm not going to make excuses for the anointing of my life. I'm not going to cower down in the face of unbelievers and act like I'm not a Christian. I'm not hiding my light. Glory to God. I'm not ashamed of the light and the gifts that God has put in my life. I'm not ashamed to be called to be a preacher, a teacher of the word, even though people say women aren't supposed to preach. That's their burden, not mine. I know what he's called me to do. And I know people's lives are getting blessed because of it. Why? Because when you're obedient to the gift, the anointing flows. And so I'm, I'm not going to be ashamed and hide. I'm not going to hide my light under a bushel. That's not why it was created. He said, let your light so shine before me. That they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. What you mean being ashamed to pray over your food just because unbelievers are present and you won't bow your head to the Lord and everybody else talking because they may not understand my ways because my ways are God's ways. But that don't mean I got to put them under a, a rock. Glory to God. I'm going to let the light shine. I'm going to let the light shine. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Talking about Jesus, uh, testifying of his goodness, telling about his miraculous works. I'm going to let my light shine, being kind to people, being respectful of people, giving people time and, and listening to people. Hallelujah. I'm going to be kind. The Bible said love is patient and love is kind. That's letting my light shine. Hallelujah. Love believes the best of every person. That's letting my light shine. That's, that's walking in the light, glory to God. Love forgives. Hallelujah. Love seeks maturity. Hallelujah. Love seeks peace with all men. Holiness without no man shall see the Lord. That's walking in the light, glory to God. Praying for my enemies, those who despise and talk about. Hallelujah. That's walking in the light. Hallelujah. Say like be. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to talk just in a few minutes. The word transparency. The word transparency means allowing light. Now, now, this is taking it to that next personal level. Transparency. We're going to be transparent. We're going to have to allow the light to shine. You know, those moments when you feel like you're just and being angry and, and fretful and hateful. And, and, and what they did me wrong. What they shouldn't have said that. We have to allow, okay, light be, light be. Thank you, Lord. Light be. When somebody said something and, it, and you know, it, it got to you, it provoked you, you, you got to be willing to yield to the light. Say, okay, Lord, if I choose that way, I'm going to be walking in the darkness. My flesh won't to, and it's trying to rise up. But I said, I'm going to walk in the light this year. And so I say, light be. I'm growing up. I'm maturing. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I understood like a child. I thought like a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Glory to God. If God has anybody that's willing to step up to the plate and say, I'm willing to put away childish things because it's breaking me down. It's causing me to lose days and hours and years and months of my life. It's causing me to hide my gift because children are stingy. It's causing me not to be respectful of others because children have not grown into that yet. They don't know how to respect other people. They don't know what R-E-S-P-C-T means. 
Are you with me now? They don't know how to be kind to one another. They don't know how to lay down their swords and say, you know what? I'll take the fault on this. I know I didn't do it, but that's all right. I'll take the blame for it. God will cover me. He will avenge me speedily. Glory to God. I know you're talking about me. I know you're crafting up things about me, but I'm going to love you anyway. I'm going to walk in the light. I'm not going to surrender to darkness. I'm not going to be handcuffed. Are you with me now? To that pole like that donkey. Jesus said, loose that donkey and let it go because I have need of it why light came and that donkey realized his purpose hallelujah that donkey realized hallelujah i'm not just some old dumb animal hallelujah tied to a pole but my life has meaning and my only the only if the only thing that i was raised up to do was to carry the savior on my back so be it in the name of jesus like be glory to god realizing we got purpose realizing that we that god has put an assignment on our life and that we should be filled with joy glory to god stop using food as an excuse stop using nasty attitudes as an excuse like be in the name of jesus for the glory of God. Stop using they hurt me. Stop using me with that's just how I am. Oh, that's darkness. Glory to God. That's darkness. We put away that darkness. Hallelujah. By listen, transparency meaning that I'm going to be true to myself. It means allowing light to pass through. Allowing light to pass through. Listen, so that objects behind can be distinctly seen. What's behind that attitude? What's the enemy really trying to tempt me to do? What is this going to lead to? Are you with me now? If I surrender to my feelings right now, what type of entrapment? Oh, like be. And if I be transparent, and if my attitude is to be transparent, I, I, this is what I would do. I'm going to let light shine on this. Kathy, that ain't, you know that ain't God. Let light shine on this. Take it, take it to the word. What the word say? Hallelujah. The word said be kind. The word says be patient. But it also says be truthful and courageous. That doesn't mean we're supposed to be weak. And we're supposed to be, oh, I'm a nobody. I'm just a Christian. No, we're supposed to be bold. Jesus walked with his head up. He declared the truth. He didn't cower back. He walked in the light. Glory to God. And the Bible said those that sat in darkness saw a great light. Transparency means allowing, allowing. Say that with me. I'm going to allow. God, not going to force it. I will allow light to pass through every situation, every behavior in my life. Glory to God. Why am I, why am I being led that way? What is that doing? It's destroying my health. It's destroying my mentation or my mentality. It's destroying my future. What is the trap the enemy got for me along the way? See, some people think that if they be careless with their life, they just going to die and whatever. But sometimes the enemy wants people to suffer. He have people doing things to their body today because he know he's going to try to cripple them later on and put them in a nursing home. He know that he's going to have them uh, 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 trapped in their body that's decaying and, and they can't even get up and move. Why? All because they surrender to a feeling. All because they surrender to a vice. Are you with me now? And he said, that what, what? no, light be on this. Light, light be right there. Lord, I need some more wisdom on that. I need to research some things. I need to find some things out. Let me go to the library. Let me look some things up. We perish because of lack of what? Knowledge, meaning lack of light. Over time. Here we go. I'm going to finish. It says having thoughts, transparency, having thoughts, feelings, or motives that are easy to perceive. I ought to know why I'm doing what I'm doing. I ought to be able to recognize if I'm walking in the light that my lifestyle is not a lifestyle of love. If I'm angry, and listen, those things happen. There are things that provoke us. There are some days we aren't as strong as we were yesterday. And we know we need to get back in alignment. That doesn't mean we're going to be perfect every day, but we agree to align our lives up with light. And say, Lord, I thank you. I recognize today was not. Yeah, I thank you for every minute of today. You were good to me, but I could have been more effective. And so I want your light to shine on me. I want you to help me to see why I missed it. Because maybe, and, and sometimes we know, we know, come on now, come on now. We train our children when they, they're still little kids. You knew that I told you not to do that. You knew you was wrong. Even my, my little puppy, 
but he doing something he's supposed to do and you say no he know he was already doing are you with me now so we don't want to crawl back in darkness and play ignorance sometime either glory to god we want light to be hallelujah shining brightly we want to be transparent let's be transparent with others if i'm upset and it's it's and, and wisdom leads you to do that make that you know what that 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 got me if it's someone you can do that with everybody can't receive that you have to you have to use wisdom everybody can't receive that because they're not mature enough to but if you're led by in your heart by the wisdom of the holy spirit you do it with love and you do it with kindness for the point of reconciliation for the pro point of growth and development for the point of restoration because sometimes some of you are keeping stuff stored up in your heart and you don't let anything out I just didn't want to say nothing. And all of that is starting to wear and tear on your health, starting to wear and tear on your skin, starting to wear and tear on your blood pressure and all of those things. Why? Because all of this, there's so much dysfunction around. There's so much, it, it just, just it, it, if you don't stay in the light, it'll start getting to you. That's why we have to be transparent and say, you know what? I didn't, I didn't read my word today. And, and that's why I almost went off on that person. Father, thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. I realize that, that that's not Christian. And I'm going to be transparent. I shouldn't have said what I said. I said it, Lord, forgive me. And uh, I, I won't, I'm coming up off of that. I, I'm going to be transparent. I'm going to let light shine. Come on now. Not making excuses. Hallelujah. But we're being transparent. We want God to illuminate us. We want the light to flood our hearts over in Ephesians. Pray that prayer. Hallelujah. Father, flood my heart with light. Give me insight. Glory to God. Let me just read a couple of other scriptures. And then, and I know some of you may have to go, but let me read these. It'll be on tape and you can go back and listen to it. Revelations 4, Revelations, over the book of Revelations. I know many times people don't travel over there. Let me tell you, I love the book of Revelations. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, if you're walking in any, any form of darkness, go over there and read the book of Revelation. It'll set, it set you right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Revelations chapter 4. Revelations chapter 4. I want you to see something here. In Revelations chapter 4, I think I want... Let's go verse 5 and 6. It says, Out from the throne came flashes of lightning. See, God, God dwells in the light. There's no darkness in him. First John. First John said, In him there is no darkness at all. That's what we're striving for. He said, when I'm born again, that's your spirit. You can have dark clouds in your mind. You can have darkness in your emotions. We want it out. We want it out. Say, I want it out. Hallelujah. The Bible says, out from the throne came flashes of lightning and rumblings and, and hails of thunder. And in front of the throne, listen, seven blazing torches burning. It's a form of light, which are the seven spirits of God, the sevenfold of the Holy Spirit. And in front of the throne, there was also what looked like a transparent glass sea, as if crystal. I want to stop right there for time's sake. That sea was transparent. Let me tell you something. Everything that comes into the presence of God is made manifest. See, that's why sometimes people don't want to come to service. Sometimes people don't want to talk to Christians that they know are on fire for God. Not that that person it would do anything. They just don't want to be around the light. Why? Because they're they're dwelling in that funk. They 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 that darkness. They're they're seething. It's almost like an addiction. They want it. It's like an orgasm. They just want it. They and well, I, now I don't want to talk to some no so and so. Why? Because they've already plotted to do evil. They've already plotted to do something that when the light comes, it's going to show up. It, it, that that other person may not. They just may be talking. And light spewing all over the place. And that, 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 it, if somebody wants to dwell in darkness, that they don't want to be around that. But that doesn't mean you have to stop letting your light shine. Are you with me now? Because in God and in His presence, there's light, there's transparency. Light is shining through always. In the natural sea, if you go out to the sea, the, the Pacific or whatever, you can even go out to Lake Michigan or whatever. It's, now, if you go out there, notice you can't see through to the bottom, not the, the real sea. Now, if you're in a little pond or something, and even in those, you normally can't see straight through. 
without the help of light. Now this sea was transparent. Glory to God. And when we're walking in the light, glory to God. The Bible said we have fellowship one with another. We're not lying. We're not backbiting. We're not doing all. We're not, we're not prophesying doom. Listen, let me tell you, when we have fellowship with one another, that means we can love each other. That love is clean. It's not just some type of lust. It's clean. It, it really respects that other person. It really favors and puts that other person first. Let me tell you something. God's love is clean. Why? Because it's in the light. It's, 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 it's one and the same. Glory to God. Not ill motives. The only reason I'm saying that because I want something from you. The only reason I complimented you today because I want you to give me $5 later. No, all of those things are dark. Come on, let's be transparent. They're dark. They're not of God. It's a fleshly manipulation. Are you with me now? And we want to dwell in the light. So all of those that are around us, even our children, listen, our children's children, anyone around us, they can see it. They can see it. You know, when I wasn't saved, you could tell when somebody wasn't right. Just, 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 I was, and I wasn't even saved. You could tell when you, after you had learned a little bit, you could tell when somebody was uh, trying to run a game on you. You could tell a lot of times when people wasn't really, really truthful. Are you with me now? And that was just not even being saved. Now that we're in the light, listen, how much more can we discern? Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Matthew chapter five, verse 15. He said, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but under, uh, but on a candlestick and he giveth light unto all that are in the house. It gives light to everyone. Light is unselfish. Light, it gives light to everyone around it. That illumination, that power to turn, that power to be healed, that power to see. Hallelujah. This is God. Hallelujah. God's presence. Verse 16. Let your light so shine. Let it. Say, I'm going to let it. Say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm going to let it shine. Because it's up to us. It's up to us. Glory to God. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. I'm going to read through these scriptures. I'm out of time. John 8, verse 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. Hallelujah. He said, but shall have the light of life. Shall have the what? Light of life. Shall have what? The light of life. You can't walk in darkness and say you're following Jesus. So when we follow in dark thoughts, no, you're not following God. When we're following uh, the things of the kingdom of dark, we're not following God. Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan, because you savor not the things that be of God, but those that be of man. When we, when we start having self-pity and we're trying to we destroying our own bodies, by our own habits, and our own appetites. We're destroying our, our own lives with the thoughts that race through our mind. We have no relationships, no friendships. We, we can't get along with people. We, you know, just some recluse or whatever. That, that's destructive behavior. That's not dwelling in the light. Glory to God. Philippians 1, verse 5 through 7. Write these down. For your fellowship in the gospel, for, for the first answer now, this is Paul talking about. He was thanking God. He said, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will complete it or perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart. Inasmuch as both of, in, in, as both in my bonds and in the defense and in the confirmation of the gospel, ye all are partakers of our grace. And we want to say that to you from our hearts, that we are so thankful, so thankful for God, so thankful for this union, our fellowship as believers, that you are in our heart. And in our heart dwells light. In our heart dwells love. Glory to God. In our heart dwells the presence of the living God. And you are in our hearts. And so we believe the best. We thank God for you, that for your success, for the brightness of God's glory shining through you. And that God began the work in you. God began that work when you was in your mother's womb before then, but when he placed you there, as he told Jeremiah, 
before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. This is light. This takes away all excuses to be fruitful, all excuses uh, to not to be a multiplier, replenish and subdue and have dominion. God created me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I have a purpose. He that begun a good work. And now that you're born again, Jesus said, you must be born again. And now that we're born again, God has begun this new work in us. And he, Paul said, I am confident. Hallelujah. I am persuaded. Hallelujah. With all, everything in me. He that begun a good work in you, talking about Jesus, talking about our Father, the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit, he will complete it. As you and I continue in the light, as we continue to be transparent, and as we seek for illumination from God, allowing this word, let it shine in my heart, Lord God. I expect your word to shine in me. Glory to God. Hebrews 35 and 5 says, cast not away therefore your confidence which has great recompense of reward. For we have need of patience, that after we have done the will of God, we will receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come, hallelujah, he will not tarry. He said, now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, he said, my soul hath no pleasure in him. But we are not them that draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. And we want this message to shine forth. We want it to be food that you can eat upon on the days, the weeks, the months ahead until our Lord returns, or until we meet him on that day that our seasons are no more. And we want you to know that this is not mere happenstance. And that God is filling your heart with this light so that we can have insight concerning our purpose, concerning God's plan for our life, concerning the dominion that he has given to us in the name of Jesus, concerning his expectations for our life. Glory to God. And that we will allow that light to shine so brightly, listen, that we will see every gift, that we will not miss the appointments of God, that we will miss, that we will not miss the seasons, that we will seize the moment, and that we will maximize our potential and allow God to expand our territory and to fill us with capacity to overflow it. That we will become so hungry for God, that we will become so thirsty for His will. Glory to God, that nothing else matters. That's walking in the light because we see everything clearly. This is going to be a great season of time. Every day, us experiencing God's grace, as in times past, God's mercy, his healing power, his forgiveness, his patience, his love, his ability working in you. When you thought you could never do that, look at you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In God excelling, expanding, uh, walking above only and not beneath. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We want you. Our, uh, we're aligning our, our vision. Hallelujah. With God's vision. Hallelujah. And we want to see your life flourish. So we want to bless you. Glory to God. As we wind down and as we uh, end our, our fellowship today, I want you to just stretch forth your hand. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. As we just release a blessing over your life today in the name of Jesus. And we pray that God's favor, hallelujah, that his holy plan would be revealed. And as our Lord grew in favor with God and man, to fulfill the Father's great plan, that your, your life will prosper and it will flourish. That God will renew your youth as the eagle, that you will run and not be weary, that you will walk and not faint, 
that you will walk with God in the light and that the light will lead the way and carry you into places that you never thought of for the glory of God, that your light will continue to shine and shine and shine until the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this blessing that you that have begun a good work in us, in them, will complete it as only you can until the day of Jesus Christ. We thank you asking that you would sanctify them wholly, spirit, soul, and body until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful are you that call them who also will do it. In the name of Jesus, be blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Well, we love you and God bless you as we all continue to walk in the light. That's the place to be. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Walking in the light, walking out God's plan. Hallelujah. So we can hear him say, well done. Listen, we love you. God bless you. We'll see you soon. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Amen.